good day. Uh, since tapos na tayo sa long division, ang nililiscuss naman natin ngayon ay synthetic division. Okay, so, the same given, ibala ang yung method na gagamitin. So, still we have 2x cubed minus 4x plus 3x raised to the 4th power minus 19 divided by x minus 2. So, paano natin i-divide itong dividend nung divisor gamit ang synthetic division? <coughs> okay, so step 1. Arrange the terms of the dividend and divisor in decreasing powers of the variable. So, ganun din lang kagaya dun sa long division. I-arrange uh, natin yung dividend saka yung divisor in standard form. Okay, so for the dividend, we have this one, 3 x raised to the fourth power followed by 2x cubed and then ayun, as you can see, wala uling quadratic term, so mag insert tayo ng 0 for the missing term and then the linear followed by negative 4x and then the constant term, negative 19 ayun, so nakasulat na yung dividend sa standard form dun naman sa divisor Okay, so as you can see, yung divisor naman ay nakasulat na in standard form. And then, step 2. Uh, for step 2, isulat yung mga numerical coefficients nung term, nung dividend, dito sa first row. So as you can see, mayroon tayo dito. This will be our first row, second row, and then third row. Okay, take note, numerical coefficients lamang po nung mga terms ang isusulat, hindi yung mismong term. Okay, so, for example, we have dito sa 3x raised to the 4th power, ang numerical coefficient niya is 3. Dito sa term na positive 2x cubed, ang numerical coefficient is 2. Dito sa term na 0x squared, that is 0. Dun sa linear term na negative 4x, that is negative 4. And then, kopyahin natin yung constant term. Step 3. So, kukunan natin yung test 0. Uh, madali lang. Ang gagawin lang natin is to simply equate the divisor to 0. So, yun ay ganito. You have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, find the value of x. So, x is equal to negative 2. Pag inilipat sa kabilang side, magiging positive so, yung positive 2 ang gagamitin nating test 0. Dito siya isusulat. And then, step 3, i-bring down ito. So, ito ay kukopyahin lang dun sa third row. And then, next, i-multiply yung 3 dun sa 2. And then, yung sagot, ilalagay dito sa second row. Katapat ng number dun sa second column. Okay, so we have 3 times 2 is positive 6. Then, kasunod, i-add yung dalawang numbers. Yung sagot, dito ilalagay sa third row. Dito pa rin sa second column. So, 2 plus 6 is 8. And then, ulit-ulitin na lamang yung process. So, positive 8 times positive 2 is positive 16. Dito ang sagot. And then, i-add. 0 plus positive 16 is positive 16. Dito ang sagot. Then, multiply ulit. Positive 16 times positive 2 is positive 32. Dito ang sagot. And then, ah, add ulit yung dalawa. So, negative 4 plus positive 32. Again, ito ay pwede nating i-take as 32 minus 4. So, 32 minus 4 is 28. Dito natin isusulat yung positive 28. And then, multiply ulit. Ito, dito. So, you have positive 28 times positive 2 is positive 56. And then, i-add ulit yung dalawa. So, negative 19 plus positive 56. Pwede nating i-take as 56 minus 19. So, 56 minus 19 is positive 37. And so, as you can see, puro numbers pa rin. So, magpo-focus tayo dun sa third row. <coughs> Ayun. So, ito ay numerical coefficient ng first term ng quotient. Numerical coefficient ng second term. And then, numerical coefficient ng third term. Ito yung last. So, ito yung magiging... Okay, so, ito yung constant term. And then, ito yung remainder. I 
Ayun, so after performing synthetic division, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung quotient kapag yung 3x raised to the 4th power plus 2x cubed plus 0x squared minus 4x minus 19 ay dinivide nung divisor na x minus 2. Again, dito tayo magbabase sa third row. Ang titingnan ay yung mga numerical coefficients. <clears throat> so again, yung positive 3 ay numerical coefficient ng first term ng quotient. So, isulat natin dito si positive 3. And then, yung variable ng polynomials. That is x. So, question. Paano natin maalalaman kung ano yung magiging exponent ng first term ng quotient? Ang papagbasihan natin ay yung exponent ng first term ng dividend. Tapos, yung exponent ng first term ng divisor. So, as you can see, ito ay 4 and then ito ay 1. Magsosubtract lang tayo. Uh, 4 minus 1 equals 3. Yung 3 ang magiging exponent ng first term ng quotient. So you have, ang first term ay 3x cubed. And then, followed by the second term, we have positive 8. So this is 8x. And then, mababa ng isang unit sa 3. So that is 2. Ang first term natin ay 3x cubed. Ang second term ay 8x squared. And then, followed by numerical coefficient na positive 16. So, meron tayong plus 16x. As you can see, ito na yung linear term. So, yung term na susunod dito ay yun ang constant. We have positive 16 and then ito ay yun, positive 28. So, meron na tayong plus 28. And then, this will be the remainder. Kapano siya isusulat? Kagaya din lang sa long division. So, meron tayong plus 37, which is the remainder, divided by x minus 2, which is the divisor. And so, ito yung sagot.